What's going on guys this is your boy AZ coming at you with another video and today we're gonna be taking a look at this cheapest GPU cooler for the RX 480 and we're gonna be seeing that how much of a difference in temperatures does it make after applying this cooler on the RX 480 graphics card compared to the reference cooler but first of all let's go ahead and take a look at the box and as you can see right here it's a cooler from cooler boss and it's their gfh40902 model i got this cooler for around about 20 dollars and that makes it the cheapest gpu cooler that you can apply on the rx480 right now now this cooler comes with the actual manual some thermal goop which i don't recommend you to apply actually i want you to use some other thermal goop like arctic cooling mx4 that's what i applied and by doing that you're gonna be safe with the thermal paste now this cooler also comes with eight small heat sinks that you can apply on the vram these small vram heat sinks already have thermal tape applied on them so you just peel a sticker off of them and just apply on the vram chip unfortunately there are no vrm heat sinks available with this gpu cooler so you probably have to buy a small vrm heat sinks that that are able to cool the VRMs on this GPU. All right guys, so now let's head on and see the GPU with the cooler applied and see how it looks and how it performs and all that good stuff. So as you can see right here, we have the GPU cooler applied on the RX 480 with 292 mm fans that perform really silent at about 2300 RPM maximum. And as you can see right here, I've applied all the VRAM heat sinks on their VRAM chips, but there are two VRAM chips that interfere with the GPU cooler. So I recommend you to get some smaller VRAM heat sinks and stick them to the part of the VRAM VRAM chip that's exposed. With the VRAMs out of the way, as you can see right here that I have applied some smaller and some bigger VRM heat sinks that are able to cool the VRMs on this card. Actually I'm looking into getting some bigger VRM heat sinks for this graphics card because with these smaller ones I'm getting about 95C with the case closed while gaming. But the VRMs on the RX 480 are able to tolerate more than this temperature easily. But still for you guys I think you should get bigger VRM heat sinks because that will increase the life of these VRMs. Actually I was looking to apply some bigger VRM heat sinks that I had laying around and for that I also did cut my VGA cooler from the side a bit as you can see in this video but I didn't have thermal tape to stick them onto these VRMs so I'm waiting for the thermal tape to arrive. Now heading over to the most important part right here and that's applying the GPU cooler on the GPU chip itself. Guys you have to use the 53mm screw holes on the VGA cooler to apply to the RX 480. This VGA cooler comes with small rubber round insulations that you have to apply between the VGA cooler and the screw holes on the graphics card. Now there are gonna be two types of these rubber insulations that you're gonna get with this VGA cooler. One are the thick ones and the other one is the smaller or thinner ones. If you use the thick ones with the RX 480 then the GPU cooler will not be able to touch the GPU die. And if you use the thinner ones, then the GPU cooler, if you screw the VGA cooler on the GPU, the GPU cooler will bend PCB of the GPU. So to get rid of this issue, with some double sided tape, I applied small metal washers that are available in any local market in between the VGA cooler and the rubber insulation. Now there's a serious, serious caution here, and that's that you don't have to apply these metal washers on the GPU holes. You have to apply it in between the VGA cooler and these rubber insulators. Now the help with applying these washers to the VGA cooler was provided to me by a person on a forum and I'm gonna be linking that in the description below for you to go and check that out. And guys the red washers provided with this VGA cooler have to go on the back of the GPU in between the screws and the VGA itself. Now the fans on this VGA cooler come with a 3 pin connector and obviously that won't be able to fit on the 4 pin fan header on the VGA itself so you can either apply it straight to the power supply or you can connect it to the motherboard and then control it with the softwares like speedfan so yeah guys this was it for the vga cooler application on the rx480 now let me go ahead and show you that how this vga cooler actually performs while in gaming so yeah guys as you can see right here i'm in shadow warrior 2 because this game actually taxes the gpu a lot and this is going to be the worst case scenario right here with the side panel open so as you can see right here that after 10 to 15 minutes my gpu is at 60 
66 to 67 C maximum and I literally can't hear the VGA cooler over my Intel processor stock heatsink and also this is the VGA cooler fan speed at 100% and guys on the right you see the speed fan on the upper left side and on the lower left side you see the hardware info softwares in the hardware info you are able to see the VRM temperatures and in the speed fan you are able to see the PWM2 which is my VGA cooler fan speed now guys let's go ahead and see how this VGA cooler performs with the side panel closed so yeah guys as you can see right here I've been playing Shadow Warrior 2 for about half an hour now with the case closed and as you can see my temperatures are at about 77 to 78 C I can say that it will maximum go to about 78 C with this cooler and I have only one rear fan applied to my PC case right now for the worst case scenario so now guys I'm gonna be testing the Black Ops 3 because this is a game that puts right about 90 to 95% load at maximum on the GPU. So with the case closed and only a single rear fan we are getting in Black Ops 3 at about 66 Celsius. So if you ask me this cooler is like a 100% improvement over the stock RX 480 cooler which gave me around about 90C on 90% fan speed and that sounded like a jet engine and one of the things that I have to say or rather a disclaimer that I have to make is that I bought all the equipment with my own money this video is not sponsored by anyone in any way so these are my honest opinions about this cooler so this cooler looks bad I know it looks bad but it's a great performer and for people who are budget oriented like me I think this cooler is a good buy and one more thing I perform really good in this black Ops 3 match alright guys leave a thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you don't leave a comment in the comment section below that what are your feelings about this cheap VGA cooler for the RX 480 with that said I'm gonna be going ahead and getting on out of here if you have any questions just post them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer them love you all peace out